Hello, all of my beautiful souls out there. So yesterday, I posted a question across all of my platforms asking, what do you think brings more love into this world? Like, how can we create more love in this world? What is it? And I got a bunch of answers back, and I'm going to read off a few in a moment. But here's the thing. No one quite hit the nail on the head. There were some beautiful responses and some really important responses, but it still didn't quite get to the point. A lot of it was very, I'm gonna be quite frank, I'm a heretic in human design, right? A lot of it is very homogenized responses. And so here are a few of the responses I got. As I said, beautiful, beautiful responses, but not quite there. So I got compassion, the highest calling, empathy, service to others, kindness, looking for how to lighten the load for others, taking care of one another, even if we're not family. And another one is loving and accepting people for who they are. And I feel like that one was like getting so close to the real thing. But here's the thing. In order to bring more love into this world, we need to first tap into ourselves. And I know this is so cliche, right? It's the, in order to love others, you have to love yourself. But it's fundamentally true, because that's the thing about cliches. There's a reason why they're cliches, right? There is a fundamental reason there. And that is because in order for you to love someone else when they are showing up authentically as themselves, making their own decisions, whether you like them or not, whether you agree with them or not, if they are following their intuition, for you not to start being all judgy and having all of your opinions about that, you have to first do that for yourself. You have to first honor yourself, how you are designed to be, release the conditioning that the outside world has put upon you to homogenize you. We are not designed to be homogenized anymore. We are not designed to fit into boxes anymore. We are designed to follow our own intuition and be the unique, authentic expression of yourself. So as many of you know, human design is my thing. And to me, it's one of the most profound ways to understand how you are energetically designed to be and show up in this world and empower you to listen to yourself. Now in the human design system, the sun has entered into the 15th gate, which is the gate of extremes and the gate of extremes and the love of humanity. And how we tap into that energy of loving humanity is first showing up as ourselves. Because when you show compassion to yourself, when you realize the different ways that maybe you've been conditioned throughout your life and start to work through those and really tap into who you are and release the fear of showing up as yourself, making the decisions and not worrying about what other people are gonna think of those decisions when you know in your soul, in your inner authority, in your being, that that is the correct decision for you, whether it makes sense in the mind or not. That's when you can recognize that in other people and accept them and be understanding. You may not agree. We're not all going to agree with each other. We are all unique individual human beings on this planet. But when we recognize that in others, it first comes from us recognizing that in ourselves having love for ourselves, having acceptance and understanding how we're designed to be, 
then creates that container for us to understand that others are designed to be different, that they are designed to have different experiences, that they're designed to show up differently. And that is so beautiful. And um, so what really comes down to first loving and accepting of yourself. And from that, we are able to love and accept others. It's just a fact. Again, sounds cliche, but it is a fact. And here's the thing. So the shadow, so the 15th gate, you can also connect these to the gene keys. And we are in the 15th gene key in that system. And the shadow of the 15th gene key is dullness. So if you are feeling dullness in your own life right now, if you feel like you're not showing up and like you just feel this flatness, check in with yourself. Are you really showing up the way you know in your heart you're designed to be, but fear is holding you back? You're fearing maybe the judgment of others or what others are gonna think. Is that holding you back? Is that when you're suppressing yourself and oppressing yourself? Because it's not supposed to be like that. When you learn to show up and release all the stuff that you feel like is keeping you from showing up in your life, that is when this magnetism starts to unfold. And when you stop judging yourself and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna just go out there, take a step out of my comfort zone, feel that authentic me and make my own decisions and not judge myself and not worry if other people are judging me. That's when you can start. Then when you start doing that, you start releasing the judgment of others. Because really that's what ultimately keeps, especially us as an adults, And when we have overall good lives, when you take a step back and look at your life and see all the amazing blessings in your life, and you're like, hey, why am I not showing up as myself? That's how we develop more love and humanity, when we give ourselves permission to show up and be ourselves and love ourselves and all the quirks and all the things. This is what the human design system has taught me more than anything. When I look at my chart, I see me. I'm like, oh my gosh, that is the little bits of Mallory that have been hiding for years. And as I follow my own strategy and authority, as I respond to the world around me, and I follow my sacral authority that's drawing me to do things, whether they make sense to this crazy mind or not. I can see my light shining more and more and I am not afraid to show up here <laughs> and just start speaking my mind and teaching and kind of unpacking all of the lessons that I've been learning over the years. So, if you are ready to show up as yourself and you're not sure where to start, reach out to me. You can get your human design chart on my website, MalloryReese.com, and you can get it for free. And you can also get access to um, five videos for free that will get you started on your path. And especially if you're a mother that is home with your children, no matter what age they are, if you're a spiritual mother, and you can step into your own self and model that for your children, that automatically gives them permission to show up as themselves. You know, this is gonna take a few generations to unfold to where we really see a change in the world, but it is coming. You know, so many people are being like, oh, our kids are getting soft now and blah, 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 blah. It's like, why do we need to be so hard? When we soften, that's when we allow love to seep in more. When we allow people to 
be themselves instead of conditioned into boxes. When they are given the space to be themselves and you are given the space to be yourself, that's when judgment starts leaving. All right, so I'll leave the links down below. I invite you, I also do readings. So if you look at your chart and you're just like, wow, there's so much there, I don't know where to start. Reach out, you can reach out to my email, Mallory at MalloryReese.com and send me an email, I can set up, we can do a full reading for you. So you can really unpack and see where maybe those bits of conditioning lie where you're not actually expressing your authentic self so that you can and it takes time nothing is instantaneous it takes time but it's really about giving yourself compassion and grace first that we are able to give compassion and grace for others all right um i've also linked i think i don't know i don't know how facebook works but <laughs> I also have a human design education group. If that is of interest to you to learn more, I go live every Monday for a Monday meditation and every Friday, excuse me, and every Wednesday for a little um, breakdown of different parts of the human design chart because it is, it's a complicated chart. I'm not gonna skirt around that. <laughs> you look at it and you're like, what's happening? And that's because it's a, th a synthesis. It's a synthesis of many ancient modalities as well as modern science in both astrophysics, quantum physics, and epigenetics. So it's a melding, it's a synthesis. A synthesis means it's greater than the sum of its parts. So when we synthesize things, it makes quantum leaps for us. When we see this amazing quantum potential in and of ourselves, when we show up as ourselves. That's how we bring more love into the world. All right, I'm always here for you. If you need anything, if you have questions, go out today. Follow your inner knowing. When a decision needs to be made, follow your inner knowing. It will always guide you. If you're not sure how it speaks to you, again, go get your human design chart on my website because each of us, our inner authority lies, or how our authority functions, lies in different places, depending on how your chart is defined. So I invite you, strip away the layers, be your unique self. You're worth it and we need you. We need you to fulfill your purpose in this lifetime. Bye for now.